Hello everyone, my name is Manisha from iThrive and today we are going to discuss about diabetes. So diabetes is a disease in which our body is not able to take up glucose into the cell to utilize it as a fuel. So the topics of discussion for today are what is diabetes, what is insulin, what are the types of diabetes and we are going to understand the parameters that come under diabetes panel. So diabetes is a lifestyle disease in which blood sugar also known as blood glucose rises and remains at a higher level than the normal level. Now this can be because of two reasons. Either your body is not able to produce enough insulin or due to its inability to use that insulin. Insulin is a hormone that is created by our pancreas. These control the amount of glucose in your bloodstream at any moment of the time. Now types of diabetes. There are two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is an autoimmune condition in which our own immunity cells mistakenly start attacking and destroying the beta cells of pancreas and these cells produce insulin. Type 2 is a condition in which our body is not able to utilize insulin efficiently. This is also known as insulin resistance. Either your body is not able to utilize that insulin or not able to understand the insulin signal. Now diabetes panel. So these are the parameters which comes under diabetes panel. Fasting and postprandial blood sugar, HbA1c, fasting and postprandial serum, serum insulin and C peptide. So fasting blood sugar is a test that determines how much sugar is in the blood sample after an overnight fasting of 12 hours. Postprandial blood sugar is also known as PP blood sugar is a measurement of a glucose concentration in your bloodstream one hour after having a meal. HbA1c also known as hemoglobin A1c test or glycated hemoglobin tells your average blood sugar level for last three months. So when glucose binds up in the blood it binds up with our hemoglobin in RBC. So this test measures how much glucose is bounded to hemoglobin. As RBC's lifespan is 120 days, therefore this test tells the average blood sugar level for the past 3 months. Now comes fasting serum insulin. This test measures the insulin level in your blood after 12 hours of fasting. Postprandial serum insulin, which is also known as PP serum insulin, measures the serum insulin level in blood after an hour of food consumption. Lastly, C peptide. This blood test looks how well your body is making insulin. For more queries and for more questions regarding this video, you can comment down in our comment section and subscribe our channel for more details.